Hello guys, this is Becca, and I am here with Nora, and we are going to kill two birds with one stone again. We are going to do episode 41, because Nora needs a middle name. And we're also going to do Theme Thursday. I know I'm a day late and a dollar short, guys. But I really wanted to participate in Theme Thursday this week. And yesterday, hubby gets off early on Thursday. So if I don't get my videos up, like, um, recorded, if I don't have get them recorded on Wednesday or or before lunch on Thursday, I usually don't get to get him up because he gets off at lunch on Thursdays in his home and I'm usually busy and do it. Excuse me, I'm on camera, I'm yawning. But anyway, the uh, theme Thursday is down on the farm. Our overalls are suspenders uh you can use any kind of little farm animals or anything like that that is connected with the farm and so i have several uh outfits and things i wanted to share with you today on different babies so i know i'm a day late but i still want to do theme thursday all right so like i said this is nora and Nora needs a middle name. So y'all be thinking of a middle name uh, for Nora and comment below and tell me what um, you would name Nora for her middle name. If you are new to my channel, I'm having a uh, challenge, a game, or whatever you want to call it, where you help me name my babies their middle names. And... To be entered in the drawing, you have to be 18 years old or older. You have to be uh, a U.S. Uh, citizen. I mean, you know, you have to be in the U.S. Um, because I don't ship the prize outside of the U.S. Um, you have to be a subscriber to my channel. And I'm fixing to get my doggie. She got my prop I had over here <laughs> um, and you have to um, comment on this video what you would name Nora as her middle name so put her first name put Nora and whatever middle name you would um, name her and what I do is everybody that comments your name will go in the drawing this will be the third drawing uh, the, these episodes 41 through uh, however many uh, I don't think it'll be 60 but 41 through however many um, everyone that comments on these episodes um, your name will go in the drawing for the third drawing it only go in one time uh, but you need to comment on every episode because um, even though you might have you might comment on Nora's video, episode 41, and I don't choose uh, the name that you suggested. Your name still goes in the third drawing because you made a comment. You, you suggested a name. But if I choose your name, your name will go one time into the final drawing. Uh, so it will end up being four drawings altogether. We've already had two. Um, and Maribit, I'm really sorry. I've just had a bad week. I'm going to do my best to get your, uh, package. Maribit won the second drawing, and I have not had a chance, haven't felt like fooling with it, getting it together and packaged up and sent out, but I will do my best to get it in the mail tomorrow to you. Um, get it on its way to you. Hush, babies. And, um, but anyway, 
uh, what I was saying, if I don't choose your name, the name you suggest for Nora, comment, go ahead and comment on the next episodes, even though your name is already put in the third drawing, comment anyway, because I might use uh, your suggestion, I might use it for, you know, whatever you suggest on another doll, and that will get your name put into the final drawing. So, uh, I make it sound complicated. It really isn't complicated the way I'm doing it. It's just I'm not good at explaining things. But all you got to worry about is com comment on every episode what you would name that baby for her middle name. So, whatever, whatever name you think would sound good with whatever her name is, like Nora, then whatever name you think would sound good to go with Nora for her middle name, comment that below. And um, we're starting out a new drawing, so everybody that comments on this video, your name will go in the drawing. If you don't comment on this one, but you do on 42, your name will go in the drawing. But if you've already commented on 41, then your name won't go into the third drawing again. It only goes one time in the drawing. All right, so we're going to get started with Theme Thursday. And like I said, it's down on the farm. Overalls, bibbed overalls are suspenders. And so um, with Nora, she has a little cat on her sleeper. And you see, always see cats on a farm. You have to have cats at a farm to catch the mice because you have a lot of feed and a lot of things sitting around that draws mice. So you always have barn cats when you have a farm. So she has a little cat on her sleeper and then she has her little stuffed cat here with her. And so the good thing about it is even though this is on her sleeper, we're going to change her today into something else that will go with the barn, the uh, down on the farm thing. So we're gonna get this sleeper off of her. Mama's Miss Nora, yeah. Mama's Miss Nora, do you have a headband? Oh no, cause it was, you were sleeping so Mama didn't have your headband on, huh? All right guys, here we go. I love this little dress. It has the little diaper cover, and it has flowers, and it has hens and roosters. And look at that, look at that hen there. Isn't she a beautiful color? Beautiful blue color. And so that's gonna be our accent color is the blues. But you always see chickens and roosters and flowers on the farm. Even if it's nothing but wildflowers, there's always flowers somewhere around on the farm. Even if it's nothing but the buds of different fruits and vegetables or trees are blooming, uh, there's always flowers on the farm at one point or another. So we're going to get her dressed in this pretty little dress. And like I said, we're going to use the blue hush babies the dogs outside are barking and that's making these bark um we're going to use the blue for the accent so this video may be long guys uh i started to say i apologize i don't really apologize because like i said it's been a while since i've been on and um wanted to participate in the theme Thursday this time. It's been a while since I have felt like participating in it. And uh, I have several things I want to share with you. So my video is going to be a little lengthy, I imagine, this time. I'm, I want to be able to enjoy this video. But there is her beautiful dress. And we're going to use the blue accents. We're going to put her on her little blue shoes. Uh, they're crocheted uh, shoes. I purchased from a lady on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. 
and uh, she done an excellent job. But I figured that would bring out the blue um, in the hen that's such a pretty blue. So that will bring that out. I'm gonna give her her little cat back because you gotta have your cat on the farm. So we're gonna put her little cat right there with her. Uh, her headband's too big. So I always take a pin. You would think I had all my headbands fixed now, by now, but I don't. <laughs> so I just take it and pull, pull them both over in one direction. Then just take that and bring it back over. And I pin it with a safety pin. She's not a real baby, so I don't have to worry about it sticking her. Although, I do hope it doesn't come loose and stick in her head, but it would, I mean, she's rooted. She has holes all in her head anyway, but um, they don't usually come loose. So there we go. We made the little band smaller where to fit her little head. And now, I don't sew it because uh, I have babies that has bigger heads. And uh, that way, I, if they need this particular headband and it's too small, I can just take the pin out and uh, make it fit her. Okay, let's get that dress fluffed out there around you, girl. Mama pulled your shoe off. Let's get your kitty cat back here by you. There you go. All right. All right, I'm going to take you off the tripod, guys. Now, there is Miss Nora with her uh, chicken and hen and rooster dress on. And that little hen is sitting in a bat. No, I thought I saw one sitting in a basket. That one's standing up. I thought I saw one sitting on eggs, but maybe not. Maybe, yeah, right there. She's sitting on some eggs. Okay, now... On a farm, what other things do you have on a farm? You grow vegetables on a farm, don't you? Yes. So she has her little sweet pea blanket that's like a pea pod. And that's what she was laying on when I was dressing her. There's the little pod of peas. And so that's her little blanket that goes with the farm theme and then we have Miss Ginger look how pretty my Miss Ginger is now the way she is uh, what am I trying to say the way she connects with the theme is she has fruits and vegetables all over her pretty dress. There's a carrot, there's tomatoes and oranges and cherries and lemons and um, yeah, I guess that's it. Apples. So there she is and she has some little apples as buttons. So naturally, you find food on a farm. So that's how Ginger connects with it. Then my sweet, oh my goodness, her name just left my mind. Oh my goodness. Oakland. Huh, she has a middle name. But I can't remember it. I forgot to look it up. But that's my Miss Oakland, and she has rabbits on her little sleeper, or her little romper, and so you've, a lot of times you will see little rabbits um, hopping around a farm, especially if you're growing vegetables and carrots and lettuce and stuff, because they love to nibble on that kind of stuff, and then you used to you used to have horses a lot on the farms nowadays they've went to tractors and stuff like that but oakland has her horse and this is um 
uh, that's her teether, and this is her little toy, and they're fixed up like they're the um, animal crackers that has the frosting on them and the sprinkles. But that's her little horsies. So that's how she's all fixed up for theme Thursday. Then, you always, well not always, but on some farms you might see some ducks, especially if you have a pond, you might see some ducks on the farm. So there's some little duck toys. Then Miss Ava Elise here, she's dressed up like a cowgirl. Look at there. She's ready to go horseback riding and lassoing those cows and um, setting out around the fire and singing and playing the guitar. So she's all dressed up. She's got a little cowboy on here, cowboys on her dress. There's a saddle for the horse and the fence. And she has the bandana top part of her dress. And she has her little kitty cat. Again, you have cats on the farm. So she's all dressed up and ready for farm life. Then we have Bennett Scott. And the alternative um, theme like I said, is like coveralls or suspenders. If you don't have coveralls, suspenders will work. So Mr. Bennett, he's got on suspenders. So um, he's ready to get out as a farm hand and, and uh, do whatever he needs to do to help around the farm. Uh, he has on corduroy pants. Now that's the only pair of pants that these suspenders will work with because <laughs> they came with this pair of pants. But there he is, and he's ready to go work on the farm because he has his suspenders on and his tennis shoes. I know he should have boots on to work on the farm, but, you know, he just wanted to be more comfortable, I guess. Of course, most cowboys think boots are comfortable. That's the only thing they'll wear. But he didn't have any boots. Mama needs to get him some. But there is Bennett Scott. And then, last but not least, we have Regina Leanne. And she just was so tired, she went to sleep. But she has little doggies all over her outfit. And you know, most farms has two or three dogs outside to help herd the, um, the, um, herd up the, what do you call it? Oh the herd <laughs> the herd up the herd there's another name i can't think of what i'm not a farm girl <laughs> but you usually have like a watchdog or or um you know a dog that works on the farm to help you with the farm animals sheep dog or whatever so she has little doggies all over her little outfit and she has her little stuffed doggie here but her was so tired and her said, Mama, I just can't stay awake for the video. You'll just have to video me while I'm asleep. So there she is all pretty and she has her doggies. So there we go, guys. I know the video was a little long, but um, I've enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed the theme this time and I'm feeling fairly well today so I was able to do the video and I hope you all have enjoyed it and I hope you've enjoyed seeing the farm animals and themes and food and suspenders and <laughs> all those things so anyway and also don't forget to give Miss Nora a middle name. She needs a middle name. So let's see what we can come up with for episode 41. Nora. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will talk with you later. Bye.